Hi everyone, I am Rakesh Kumar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about different components of a dam. Before discussing about different components of a dam, everyone who is watching this video has to know about what is meant by dam, what are the different types of dams and what is meant by gravity dam. To know in detail about all those things, please do watch my first video the link of which is being provided in the description below where you can get every detail of dam now let us discuss about different components of a dam this picture represents a dam this is the upstream side of the dam which forms as a reservoir to store the water this is the downstream side of the dam this part is called as heel of the dam which forms as a junction base concrete structure. This is called as the toe of the dam, which forms as a junction between downstream side to the base concrete structure. This area is called as crest of the dam, which is the topmost plane of the dam. This crest is used as a roadway for inspection. These are called parapet walls, which forms a border for the crest. This is called as sluiceway or penstock. It helps in power generation. Sluiceway is nothing but opening or a pipe in the dam structure from upstream side to the downstream side. The water stored in the reservoir is, is allowed to flow from upstream side to the downstream side through this pipe under pressure so that the force exerted by this water helps in power generation. This is called as spillway. Spillway is a passage for surplus water from the dam without making it to over top the dam. That means if the water level reaches the maximum water level, that is the maximum capacity of the dam, then spillway gates are to be opened so that the water that is excess in the dam will be sent to the downstream side through these spillways. So let us discuss about different water levels in the reservoir. This is the maximum water level that means the maximum level of water that can be stored in, the, in a particular dam. Beyond this the, the water beyond this has to be sent to the downstream side in order to make sure that the dam is safe and this is the normal water level that means the level of water in the dam in every season the distance between this normal water level and the top crest level of this dam is called as freeboard and here a question is why should we provide this freeboard that is extra length of the dam if you consider it normally this is the capacity of dam that is this is the maximum water that can be stored in this dam and why this free wood it means if in case of floods if the water level reaches above this maximum water level it should not over top the dam in order to prevent such over topping we provide free wood the next part is gallery gallery is nothing but an opening in the dam structure for inspection purpose. This is how a gallery looks from inside of a dam. This helps in checking the dam functioning for process and also helps the water to collect the water that is seeping through the dam structure. Every structure has some or the other point of seepage. In order to collect such water, these galleries are provided. If in case these galleries are not provided, the, the water that is seeping through this dam structure will be cutting this dam structure to the downstream side. In order to prevent such condition, we provide galleries over here so that the water that is seeping through this concrete or masonry structure will be collected in this gallery. This is called as cut up wall. This cut up wall is provided under the heel of the dam on the upstream side. 
which forms as a protecting layer in order to prevent the water seepage from the base of the dam if this cut up wall is not provided the water will be allowed to seep through this dam and the dam will be floating in the water so in order to prevent such failure we will be providing a cut up wall under the base of the dam at the point of the hill this picture shows the main dam structure these are called spillways i have already explained about spillways and their functioning and here you can see the outside view of a spillway in a realistic manner these are called abutments these are provided on either sides of a dam so that they can contract the water force acting on the dam they help in reducing the water force so that dam structure will be in a, under safe conditions this is called as apron apron is provided on both the sides that is upstream side and downstream side of a dam so that the water force will not affect the soil strata under the dam structure on both the sides this apron is provided such that it forms a thick layer of concrete so when the water falls with high pressure from a spillway this apron helps in contracting the pressure and thus reduces the water velocity without affecting the dam, dam structure this also acts as energy dissipator that is they reduce the force of the water falling on it and make it to flow in downstream side with a normal velocity these are the major components of a dam beyond these we even have intake wells low level outlet wells sheet pile walls fish ladders those topics are not much important so i am leaving those topics i'm closing today's topic of different components of a dam up to here Thank you for watching my video. Please do share the video if you like the content. Thank you. Bye bye.